don't let me drown Thanks for back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name's Lydia and I make mental health videos here on YouTube pretty much every day. Today I wanted to do another medication themed video and today I want to talk about taking clonazepam, which is a benzodiazepine. But before I do that, disclaimer, I'm in no way shape or form saying that medication is the only option to support your mental health. I'm also not saying that medication is necessary for you. Everyone has different experiences and sometimes therapy can be enough without medication. In other circumstances, it works the opposite way. Take what I say with this video as my own experience. I'm not a professional, nor do I try to be. I'm not training to be a professional and I have no intention on being a professional. Clonazepam is a benzodiazepine. It's a group of drugs that are very restricted and are very controversial. I take 0.5 milligrams of clonazepam at night to help me sleep because I have really bad anxiety, right? I take lorazepam during the day and I take clonazepam because clonazepam is, I find it stronger than lorazepam. I'm going to do another video talking about lorazepam at another point, but today I want to focus on clonazepam. I used to take one milligram of clonazepam at night and I take 0.5. Um, the one milligram was too much for my body. 0.5 has worked and has been working since February. There's a huge misconception that comes with benzodiazepines and that is that you shouldn't be prescribed large quantities, you can't have it for more than a week, you know. I've been taking this tablet since around February time when I was in hospital. I got prescribed it on an inpatient setting and I've continued and maintained using it since then. Yes, I can go without a dose and no I don't think I'm addicted to it. I can go without it, I just feel like shit because my anxiety skyrockets because I use it as an anxiety relief. When it comes to night anxiety, my fear thoughts or I'll have my medication I'll be like shit I don't want to sleep what if something happens what if this happens what if that happens and all these what ifs and my brain just goes wild without the benzodiazepines my brain my brain really does run around in circles all the time so by taking the clonazepam it kind of stops it I just take standard release clonazepam like I said I'm on 0.5 milligrams and um, that is a tablet for me get let me get my med box up. this is the one I take and you can see the dosage of it is 500 micrograms. What the box is for me is want to be taken at night as advised by a psychiatrist. Do not stop taking this medication unless your doctor so tells you to stop. Warning, do not drink alcohol after taking this medication. Warning, this medication may make you feel sleepy. If this happens, do not drive, do not use tools or machines. Uh, I get my medication weekly, um, though I've only got like, I only have seven, seven tablets. <laughs> Seven tablets a week. So the 0.5 milligram dose, or 500 micrograms in a word, it works well for me. I know someone who takes that twice a day. So one of my friends, Elle, who lives the other end of the country, um, she takes benzodiazepines as well. She uses it to help calm her anxiety down and it works very well. What I also want to say in this is just because I take a combination doesn't mean my anxiety is worse than someone else's, it doesn't mean I'm iller or whatever. Mental illness isn't a competition. Medication is a game of hit and miss. So this is my video about antidepressants and I'll say it again, it's not a competition. I need medication to help me get through a day and that's okay. Some people don't and to them, awesome. <laughs> I wish I was one of you people. I really do because I don't find therapy helpful, especially with my anxiety. Anxiety has been one of my longest going on diagnoses. I've had the diagnosis of anxiety since I was a kid. I can say that I have tried a significant amount of therapies. I've tried cognitive behavioural therapy on several different occasions in several different areas and not once has it helped. So taking clonazepam, what, how does my evening go? When I take clonazepam, how, how does it go? I will have the tablet in combination with my medication and it very quickly slows down my rate of thinking and I fall asleep. I cannot name one occasion that I've taken that tablet and managed to stay awake which is why I had to stop taking it in the mornings because I was just sleeping all the time. I also want to say that there's a huge misconception that people with BPD shouldn't have access to benzos because of the predisposition to addiction and it's known on my NHS record and on my police record that I used to use and abuse cocaine. I've never once abused my prescription medication and I, I just wouldn't. I don't like feeling slowed down, <laughs> which probably sounds backwards given the medication that I take. I hate feeling slowed down, so why would I want to take it for fun? I totally get it though, like some people do struggle with addiction when they take it and benzodiazepines can cause addiction. I'm not gonna beat around the bush, they are potentially dangerous medications, but you know, sometimes they're needed. 
for treatment and I don't think people should belittle other people's experience with them or how they use them, how they prescribe them. What you have to remember is you don't know how that person got put on it. I got put on it in an inpatient setting because my anxiety was unmanageable and I was kicking off. I was kicking off because I was so anxious and I couldn't close the door because it was a dorm and I, I kept kicking off and I was on one-to-one -one observation and I still kicked off and then I saw a consultant who one gave me leave because that's one thing that was annoying me and two she wrote up some plenazepam to take twice a day and definitely chilled me out. It also helps a lot with my, when I'm having flashbacks I this is the only thing I do differ from with how it's written on the box. If I start to have a flashback episode I will take lenazepam. It lowers my anxiety so much like yes I still have the flashbacks but the intense anxiety that comes with flashbacks I don't have and that's the only thing I'm gonna say that I, I do twist what it says on the box a bit there because yes I respect and understand that it needs to be at night because of how sleepy it makes me but if I'm having a flashback episode I'm more at risk if I'm awake because when I have flashbacks I will do anything to make them stop so by taking clonazepam mellows out my anxiety so I don't get the urges to self-destruct and one simple tablet no matter how addictive it might be or no matter the dangers that come with it I would much rather take a tablet than try and kill myself or self-harm. Like I said I'm not saying that therapy isn't an option for people I'm not saying you have to be on medication I'm not against therapy and like I said in the beginning if therapy works for you I'm so glad. I just thought I'd make a video talking about this because people always ask questions about my medication especially the benzodiazepines. Um, clonazepam being one that people are like oh my god how do you get prescribed that blah 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 it's like well my um, consultant did it. I'm going to end the video here. If you're new subscribe and if you haven't already make sure you hit the thumbs up button and if you have got any questions at all please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Peace.